Okay, <laughs> good. What's up? Go uh, go on. Tell us of uh, tell us uh, what your uh, what your problem is. Uh, I just thought some of his takes were extremely biased and unfounded. And are you a fan of? He was. Are you a fan of Michael Brooks or are you a fan of mine? Because you have a no, new no, account. I, I literally have no clue who that dude was. First time I've ever heard from him. I just thought he was, you know, inflaming and kind of overplaying the influence that the alt right has within the Republican Party and politics in general. I mean, these people exist online. They don't really influence shit. So. That, um, was, that was all. I, I I mean, he was like drumming them up as if there's some like very influential cohort within the within today's political spectrum, and that they're influencing millions of people, and that they're that they're shaping debate, and that's just all bullshit. Like, um, I think you're. I think you misunderstood, and, and I'm gonna be as charitable as possible. I, I think you misunderstood both his and my perspective uh, on this. Uh, neither of us were saying that the alt right is incredibly influential in uh, U.S. politics. What we were simply stating is that the alt-right, uh, he literally even said that the alt-right is a fringe group um, in comparison to the more mainstream speakers, but, um, okay. so, but, our, so but, our, but hold on, but our, my perspective at least, and I can't speak to my, uh, uh, Michael's uh, beyond what he said on the interview, but uh, my perspective is that uh, the alt-right is of course a fringe group. Uh, there are different levels to uh, the the racist or sexist or bigoted uh, and, and vitriolic uh, sentiments that you hear from uh, the intellectuals on the right. The alt right is at the tip of that so and a very and make up a very small, albeit very vocal on the internet, but very small part of that uh, Republican constituency. Um, but um, that's not what we're talking about. When we when we uh, when we talk about I don't know racism. Uh, in America or, or worldwide or in Western civilizations and whatnot, uh, we're not talking about, like, internet memes. We're talking about, um, you know, history and, and, and how race has been a tool to drive a wedge uh, between, you know, the black working class and, and the white working class, um, those sorts of things, and how easy it is to, to garner uh, support by using identity politics. Michael is an anti it yeah, Paul guy too. Is, even who is more who is more uh, active in using identity politics to woo their base if it's not the left? I mean, all they do is talk about intersectionalism and and the fucking wait, intersect you know the it, it, rights. Wait, what did you say? Intersectionalism. You're, I don't know why your audio went like really low. Hold on. Um. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get your audio up a little bit more. You mean intersectionality? Yes, I'm turning that into an ism. Can okay, you follow that? so... I'm not God! Holy fuck, okay. Ask him if he can ground axiomatic philosophical beliefs in PhD-level Socratic ideals. Okay. No, no, no. So, that's that's wait, one wait, thing wait, I no, knew no, was no, going to no, happen. No, hold on, hold on, I, I'm, I'm not claiming to be... Hold on, hold I'm on. I'm not claiming... Oh, hold oh on, God, hold on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you get away with that talking point that you've previously made. I just want to fix some things, and then we're gonna no, get no, back. No, you to cut it. me off. You cut me off mid sentence. You didn't even let me complete the thought. So yeah, no, know, because I cut you point. off because I words. no, I cut you off because I was trying to fix your voice, dog, so people can hear your point. Go on with your uh, point. Okay. You said intersectionalism. Um, now, we, now people can sexualism, actually hear you. intersexualism, and how the left plays on people's identity, especially by factionizing them. You know, if you're black, you have a certain set of principles and, and loyalties. If you're a transgender, if you're a or LGBTQ, if you're a feminist, I mean, if anybody's using identity politics and corrupting the political process, it is the left. I mean, like Trump just came in as a as a reinforcement of that on the right. I mean, it just, that's, that's all Wait, it is. Wait, don't you think that in order for identity politics to be uh, successful, you need to have like a monolithic or at least cohesive identity that you're advancing and intersectionality goes, uh, intersectionality is antithetical to that concept. Therefore, the Republican Party would probably be a little bit better at doing identity politics given the fact that all of their representatives are old, white, uh, straight men or at least straight presenting men and, and their constituency is mostly predominantly white. Don't you don't you think that that is a way more successful example of identity politics? No, I, I think that's a I think that's a more successful appeal to. Can you hear me? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I can uh, hear I think you. That's a more. I thought my volume wasn't down. Um, I, I think that's a more consistent appeal to one 
larger voting demographic, and so you're classifying it as such. But before Trump, it wasn't like the Republican Party was out there like messaging just to gin up whites. Okay, this was this is something that's become that's hmm. very relatively new. To Are the you familiar process. with the concept called states' rights, uh, Goldwater, uh, any of these? Any that's of a these like constitutional issue? That's that's not a oh states' rights is a constitutional politics. issue. Um, states' rights yeah, in regards to how they in regards to one uh how they handle uh segregation do you think that was a constitutional are, are gonna, issue are you gonna say are you gonna make me argue in defense of southern states claiming that their justification for going to, to for fighting the civil war with states rights because i'm not gonna defend no, not that. No, 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 no 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 it wasn't even was wait wait hold on no slight of no my friend that I, I wasn't even asking you about uh state rights in regards to uh, in regards to slavery which you are correct though that is a form of white identity politics no, uh, I was talking about the Southern strategy, but more importantly than that, the uh, callback to state rights under Barry Goldwater, um, which is uh, which is literal white identity politics uh, uh, and, and the concept of dog whistles. That's um, that's what I was referencing um, in the aftermath of the the uh, in the aftermath of the civil rights movement or right around that time, uh, it became virtually unacceptable uh, to. Uh, to, to present yourself as someone who is still pro-segregation and not get properly called out for it. So, um, you know, they, they, had they had to look for alternative, they had to look for alternative methods of riling up the, the same uh, white base. And, you know, states' rights was that substitute for it. That was an excuse, sure, but there's a legitimate issue in terms of an overreaching federal government and a commitment to the Tenth Amendment. Uh, um, why do you think that? Why do you think, that, do you think that state yeah. rights only uh, you're, you're only pertains to the entire stance to, of of defending the Tenth Amendment and states' rights and federalism as being a dog whistle for racism, and that's kind of bullshit. Like, there's actual policy issues that arise from people who are and states in particular who are fed up with the federal government legislating powers that they don't have and usurping powers that they don't have. So can I ask you something? Why is it always about enforcing state rights in regards to like segregation, uh, and, like leaving it up to the states in regards to concepts such as segregation, yeah, but, not necessarily, but, necessarily, segregation. Uh, but not necessarily uh, when it comes to, um, I don't know, handling, um, the handling of, of the criminalization of abortion or any sort of perspective that they have uh, when it's a when it's a conservative issue, why is it that the, the the same supposedly libertarian small government Republicans all of a sudden want to uh, ban uh, federal funding that goes towards uh, uh, any sort of uh, abortion or anything like that? Um, all of a sudden, when it comes to female uh, bodily autonomy, uh, they they really disregard that states' rights perspective. So maybe they're not either no, they're not no, being they intellectually no, they honest because or. That's 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 not true because states have made individual attempts to legislate how they see fit abortion and it's been struck down by the Supreme Court as quote unquote unconstitutional and that's and that's not them trying to federalize that issue they do it at a state by state basis and I mean you're seeing the same thing on the other side of the spectrum too so I mean yeah they 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 do use defunding Planned Parenthood as a fucking you know as an issue to gin up the base but I mean writ large abortion is an issue that should be left to the states oh okay all right and just the um, same thing with medical marijuana or marijuana in general do you not think that got it what about what about um issue? sanctuary cities do you have a do you have a issue with that or states that want to declare sanctuary states do i have an issue with them declaring no i don't oh so you're fine with that uh with that also being left to uh states as uh states yes. rights okay yeah Okay, good. I mean, at least you're intellectually honest uh, in an effort to in an effort to justify uh, previous Republican administrations who were uh, almost fairly open about how uh, they hid their power level by uh, talking about by moving it to like a constitutional argument rather than um, the actual uh, thing that they were promoting. Yeah, I'm I'm fairly certain you're saying that to not get called out, but it's okay. You're you're being pretty general with that statement. Can you give me an example of what you mean? What do you what do you mean? I'm I'm being pretty general with that statement. Well, what you just said, just uh, give me a specific policy you're you're describing there. What do you mean, like as far as sanctuary cities? No, well, you just like kind of wrap that up into like all these different issues, right? Then then you said like. Well, I was yeah, I I think I um I think I was fairly clear when I talked about how Republicans do white identity politics 
and they do it very well and and uh you're refusing to uh i mean you're refusing to concede to that point and then um you said that it was actually a constitutional issue which is why they have uh, a state rights perspective and then i said well you might have that perspective but republicans in general never actually have that perspective when it comes to curbing back or restricting rights um like, when it comes to like, I can't, female like, I can't bodily like autonomy or when it comes to uh, you know That's... allowing sanctuary states to exist they don't respect state rights when it comes to Wait, um when it comes so? to liberal how, values how so? how so where where do you see the federal government trying to repeal abortion rights like this is happening on a state-by-state -state basis and getting fought out in the courts like you know, like, okay, restricting abortion into, like, late term, like, none of that shit has passed. It's just a political maneuver. Like, I, I don't know I don't know what you mean. Like, they have not passed one concrete Wait, policy. Wait, that's – just because they haven't passed it doesn't mean that it still goes against the foundational uh, principle that you j literally just admitted uh, to, to my – you just conceded to my point. Yeah, I, I, they play identity politics, but I, I, my whole point. Well, that was my, that, they, that was my whole point. No, 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 my whole point has. Well, you didn't understand my point then. Is that it doesn't, it doesn't play out into actual policy. Like so I know it doesn't rhetoric, matter. Is, That's the whole purpose of a shallow identity it politics. No, it does matter. And what I'm saying is that yes, while they, that, that, while they may do that, they don't legislate that way. And the Democrats do the same fucking thing. And you're over here like pointing the finger. No, at I one know. Side I never said Democrats don't party. do identity politics. I said yeah, you my, do. You were like no. no I said no, 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 buddy. I said it. Republicans do it better. This. I said Republicans do it better because they you have an what? actual That's singular focus on captivating the white base that and you're now a little triggered probably because uh you no, just no. realized some uh i guess new information about what republicans have been doing but um no i'm i'm, a, I'm aware of what republicans uh, are doing, my point honest. is all politics is identity politics okay and and of course we are That's not we're conditioned you, like, we're conditioned like into on Jew, on Jewish okay we're conditioned into thinking that who, white identity politics is just the default Ilhan omar wait what Ilhan omar oh, no, hold on hold on listen um okay we're conditioned into thinking that white identity politics is because like white people were uh, uh, assumed as the default we're conditioned into thinking that white identity politics is the default. So you're not conditioned into thinking that that's identity politics. Anything outside of that, anything that uh, any sort of legislation or any sort of, as you said, trickery uh, uh, to, to, to drum up votes that goes outside of that sort of like white heteronormative patriarchy um, is regarded as outside of the norm. And therefore, that's identity politics. But everything inside of that scope is not identity politics. This is regular politics, right? Well, I just don't understand how you use like like issues like uh, an appeal to the state to states' rights and federalism as being identity politics simply because I mean that's been the Republican Party platform well, if it for was... decades, and it appeals to whites re regardless really? of why. Yeah, it does. I mean, what about yeah, because... what about the guy who started the Republican Party? What about him? What do you think his perspective was on state rights? I mean, I don't think that has any relevance. In Can you explain to me who I'm referencing? Discussion? No. Can you no. tell me what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? No, go ahead. I thought you were being intellectually independent and had a profound knowledge of history, and yet, for some reason... I, when did I... Wait, wait, wait. When did I say that? <laughs> well, you were shitting on a guy who... I you're shitting on a guy who literally studied history. Who was, I, dude... He okay. studied history, but in his in his in the same breath said history is important, but I don't know shit about ancient Greece, which is like the, one of the most ridiculous statements I've ever heard because ancient Greece is a foundational. I mean, if you're gonna, I, I just think that if you're gonna shit on democracy, I just like, think that I if mean, you're gonna shit on someone's uh, like historical knowledge, uh, a person who's literally writing a book about uh, history, or at least like uh, dialect of uh, fuck, uh, at least historical materialism and how it pertains to. Uh, to like contemporary politics, maybe you should have a better understanding of history yourself, especially like North American history. Uh, especially if you're. Damn, Asan, you literally asked something so. Vague. All right, I gotta stop reading chat. All right. Anyway, um, the the ultimate non-states rights boy was Abe Lincoln, and and, and you kind of uh, talked about that before. Uh, so that's why I was. Uh, that's why I mentioned that. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, no, Republicans haven't always like historically cared about states' rights. 
Um, so there's yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in relevant history, yeah, they have. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so I mean, you want to go back to the fucking like 1800s? That that, that has no bearing. We're in 20,000. We're in 2019. Dude. No, like, you're right. Link, Abe Lincoln has no the relevancy. The parties have made. No, Abe Lincoln made has no complete, relevancy in I'm regards not, to. I'm not saying he has no relevancy, but what I'm saying is that the parties have done a massive seismic shift in where their foundational belief systems were. They've adopted new belief systems. I mean, it's. Could you could you walk argue, me through the steps that, of exactly when that happened? No, because I know I already know where that argument's going. Where is that I argument going? Can you explain it to me? Nope, I don't. I don't want to go there. Why well, don't you want to go gonna, there? You're going to tell me that. That post LBJ and the voting, uh, the Voting Rights Act, that you know the South became Republican and all the racists left the Democratic Party and they flipped and you know there was. Mo uh, I don't want to get into that. I'm not fucking well, Dinesh cause, D'Souza. Because so. you know you're wrong. <laughs> well, because because I'm not going to argue Dinesh D'Souza. Like that's uh, this is the his. Oh his thing come on, mind. dude. <laughs> I mean, what what's your point though? I don't understand. That's literally white identity politics. That uh, that the southern strategy. I, I already gra granted to you that that uh, whites. They use states' rights. Identity politics. <laughs> but I mean, you're you're classifying everything. Like you're telling me that that states' rights, which is an inseparable party platform, and has been for the last fucking forever. Is is simply an appeal to white identity politics, and that's just bullshit. It's it's an institutional foundation. So, what do you think segregation was? Philosophical belief system. Okay, what do you think segregation so, was? Like, what do you think the Jim Crow laws were? Yeah, can we like mo modernize this conversation? Do you want to talk about something more relevant? Do you not think like, that something that happened to 13% of our population only two generations ago, li leading up to fucking literally two generations ago, is not relevant to analyzing the state of the black community right now? I'm well aware that it had, yeah, profound impacts on the black community. Like the contempt, like the current black community so, right now. So, so does, so does the fact that like 40% of, of black children are born out of wedlock, and uh, even higher percent are are raised by single mothers. Like, so mm -hmm. I mean, like it, it's uh, not. It's why not do you? A okay, walk me through that then. Are you gonna give you, me the Thomas Sowell argument, uh, and it's because of welfare policies? Is that why? No, I, th I think it's. Why do you cultural, think that happens? Uh, no, and, uh, I mean, it's human nature. It's the sexual revolution. It's a, oh. it's a. So only the black pe only the the black communities were impacted drastically I, by the I sexual that? liberation. Well, no, you were I referencing black that. people and fatherlessness. I said I said that is something that impacts them today, and oh. uh, and kind of and sustains their collective. I don't want to say oppression, but their their collective reliance on. So why didn't it impact other uh, cultures if if there was such a difference? It did not impact other cultures. I mean, I that's... mean, it, like white culture, because uh, you because you singled out black culture. So I was just trying to understand. I did not single out black culture. You brought up blacks and the 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 historical implications of slavery on them and Jim Crow, and I was saying yes, I agree with you. And I also think that there are current things happening in the black community that are sustaining the the level of poverty, lack of education, out of wedlock pregnancies, single motherhood. Like, I, and I, mean, I asked you what you what you think are the reasons why uh, this impacts the black community, because um, you singled out like when we were talking I about the black community. I did not single them out. You mentioned the black okay, community. Okay, but I know. But I mean, you're. But what you don't understand is, you're using sexual liberation which impacted everyone, okay, which impacted everyone in America. I agree. To, 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 say, that, um, to say that black people were, uh, to, to use that as an example of fatherlessness in the, in the African American community. So I'm asking you, why do you think that that's, why do you think that that's, why do you think that that is a reason for uh, fatherlessness in the African American community and yet uh, fatherlessness is not um, a, a problem in the white community? Or do you think that that's a problem in the white community as well? Uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me to argue whether or not it's an equal as uh, it's it's an equitable problem. Um, huh. Generally, I would say maybe that's so because. So why did you bring that up? 
I would say that generally because white families tend to prescribe more to religious doctrines. And so it's Oh, so created. wait, do you and have numbers on that? Emphasis, there's more of an emphasis on, on strong family units. Yeah, Pew does, uh, you know, numbers on who identifies as a Christian, and, and I'm, I'm guaranteeing they have racial breakdowns in okay. their cross tabs. Um, that's, that's really I'm sure that would, that would bolster my point. Um, are you sh- I would love for you to find some information in regards to the difference between uh, religiousness uh, rates of, of uh, like um, being religious, I guess, in the black community versus the white community. And then an additional study that pertains to um, to, uh, you know, having a, a two parent household uh, within religious communities. Outs and, and non-religious communities, because and then even then it would never be able to. You would never be able to link that causally. You're just kind of throwing out information and speculating at that point. So, um, yes, no, I do not have like. Where did you? I'm just trying to figure out. Like you, it this. seems like you have very strong do opinions you, on this, and I just no, want to understand you, if you don't have any data to back it up. Like why? Why? How did you come no, about well, these opinions? Did you have? Do you have an opinion that you'd like to share on on why that's happening to the black? Yes, community? it's the criminal justice system, 100 percent. Okay, so so what you're saying essentially is if we la- relaxed laws and reduced recidivism, that this would not be a problem. One that, that thousand the black percent, community yes. Would well, fatherlessness technically would not be a problem. Yes. Okay, so you think that you're saying that parents or you know single parent homes, predominantly single mother homes, are a direct cause of of what you would classify as racist criminal justice policies. Yes, yeah, systemic racism and 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 the and the racial disparity in the, in a, the outcomes. Do you have a study? Do you have data to verify that? Yes, I do. Um, okay. Uh, one in one in five one in five uh, black children have one parent that's currently incarcerated. That number goes up to like one in forty three uh, in comparison to white parents. Uh, as far as um, other racial disparities in regards to um, in regards to persecution within um, uh, the black communities, then we can look at, you know, arrest rates and sentencing rates. Uh, there are multiple studies conducted on this that show when controlled for literally all other factors, um, black people get higher rates. I mean, uh, black people are more likely to be arrested uh, despite the fact that they have the same usage rates for drug possession. And then beyond that, they're also more likely to get longer prison sentences for the same kinds of crimes. These are, this is not like a one-off uh, study either. This is like uh, that's, fairly that's established. Not because of it, you, and you're attributing that to systemic racism. That's what well, you think. Well, if is. it's controlled for, you do you know what controlling for other factors of, is? Yes, do you know, I understand. But no, no, you do, do you know? Do you know what it means to control for other factors? Crimes? You know that, that crime statistics and databases that collect data on crime are extremely unreliable. Uh, they're, they're a fucking guesstimate at best. There's no standard formalized way by which localities report criminal convictions to f- a federal or centralized database. So you're using numbers that are inherently flawed because – Oh, so you don't believe in the ability. studies. Okay, got it. No, I just – so, so I would attack the study, yeah, one. And two, I would say that just because – So how do you that, base your – how do you base your – I would how say do that's, a, that's a manifestation your, of poverty. Have you controlled for the fact that yes, white, <laughs> yes, uh, white y- defendants y- – I, I, yeah, well, I'd like to read that then. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, and even that. beyond that, um, even beyond that, of course, when you talk about controlling for numerous factors, um, uh, that is included. In, and But even beyond that, poverty is, you're correct, poverty and socioeconomic conditions, or at least material conditions, are absolutely the main, uh, the main reason for why uh, certain groups are more likely to commit crime, more likely to commit violent crime, but... When we're talking, and, and by the way, I don't think you're like a regular fucking alt-right dipshit or even an alt-right dipshit because you're not I'm using not. their talking points. Uh, you just strike me as a guy who's maybe a little misguided, but fairly open-minded from how receptive you've I'm, been. I'm so not, I just want to put I'm that out there. Misguided. I appreciate that car- uh, classification, okay, but, but I'm not. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> then you're I, ignorant. I don't know what to tell you. Re- no, no, reasonable <laughs> like, mind. I mean, I'm giving you information and you've been receptive. That's why I was saying like you're fairly misguided because the other alternative is that. What if I came in here? Hold on. On that point, I don't want to I don't want to get away from that's important point. What what if I came in here and told you that um, 
immigration is positive and that illegal immigrants uh, commit crime at less rates than natural citizen, natural born citizens. Um, and I used a Koch brothers survey to, or study to do it. Like, I have, not I have done that. I have done yeah, that okay. numerous times, and the reason right. for why I've done and that I is have because a problem with that because their numbers are inherently based on their own on their own bottom line. So why do you why were you bringing up Pew Research, thinking that Pew Research corresponds to your perspective, uh, but but uh, no other studies are uh, acceptable if they if they disregard your perspective or actually disprove your perspective. Uh, my point I is- I wasn't saying that they're not relevant. I was just saying I'd need to see that study. Is that it, is it more so that statistics just are inherently wrong if they don't prove your points? Uh, is that what your, your main gripe no, is? No, it's just that, I, it's that I'm, I'm extremely skeptical of statistics because I know that the, you know, the left controls academia. Uh, and so a lot of these studies take an inherent approach when they're trying to prove a point that has a philosophy. So philosophical how could you arrive at the truth this then? Has been if, uh, wait, 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 wait. This has not been proven. Uh, how could you arrive at this the truth? Okay, hold on. W with what? Well, uh, with the simple say, rates of, say a of study. liberals within say, academia. Yeah, from what? Academia. From what? No, I can't. There is there is an actual uh, a study there is conducted a by. Study that, they did a they did a fake study by, that got published in like numerous journals. By, yeah, I don't remember it was it was a troll study, but it proved the point that a lot of these a lot of these so called like you know journals that that are peer reviewed don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. They did a study on like dogs, like like I don't I don't remember. Oh, uh, all right, all right, all right. You know I know what, what, what you're doing. No, no, hold on, hold on. I I know, you know I know talking? what you're referencing better than you do. Okay, first of all, okay, my fake studies recall. or incorrect studies get passed through. Um, that pass through peer review journals all the fucking time. This not only exists in the social sciences, like you're trying to bring up right now, but failing to mention, but it happens even no, in I like natural that. sciences as well. Yes, this has historically always been the case. It has nothing to do with, uh, it has nothing to do with like a left wing bias or a right wing bias. It just has everything to do with um, the, the, the way that that uh, is structured out. Uh, especially because this disagree. exists in natural sciences as well, and there is no such thing as left-wing or right-wing biases when it comes to um, the natural science. Wait, there is a left-wing bias when it comes to natural science? No, nah, no, no, not not necessarily natural science, but social sciences for sure. I I, I would hold that position. Okay, but that's what I was saying. So uh, why does that happen? Why why does why does that happen all the time? Also, why did you call me average intelligence if? You yourself are, are not really well equipped to deal with okay. someone who is it, as stupid so as I am. If someone, if someone who is not of average intelligence would know the difference between intellect and knowledge, and the fact that I'm not regurgitating studies right off the top of my dome doesn't make me any less intelligent. Okay? Oh, that oh, so you're you're smarter than me. You just don't have the number. knowledge. Okay, well. That's really no, interesting. I, just, I don't. I just don't do this for a living. Like I, I'm a fucking. And yet you thought you could. Never mind. But I'm. <laughs> I, I, if you think you're winning this conversation, that's that's interesting. But okay. <laughs> interesting is one way to put it. Okay, let's keep going. So, um, uh, left wing uh, studies, right wing studies, uh, biases, all that stuff is just um, you know, intellectual dark web uh, nonsense. Well, it's um, all, all you're doing, all you're doing to legitimize your point is an appeal to authority, and I don't, I don't. Um, what did you just do? What did you just do by bringing up that uh, that one example? Yeah, I'm equalizing your appeal to authority. I can't, I can't equalize you there okay. without doing the same thing. All right. What's the one up from appealing to authority? All right. I guess we should, uh, we should disagree then, right? I mean, uh, we sure. should agree to disagree then. I guess. Thank you for sure. equalizing my appeal to authority, though. Uh, I wasn't the one yeah. who I, I wasn't I was using empirical evidence to back up my uh, my arguments because that's usually what you're supposed to do. Uh, like when I have a perspective and I look at the data and the data bears out uh, the conclusions that I already had going into it. Or if I had uh, a different conclusion and the data shows me something else, I usually change my perspective. That's usually something that an can intelligent person an would do. Right. The time that, can you give me an example of a time that's happened? Um. Let's think. What is a what is a recent example of this happening? I can't really think any, of one right now. It'd probably be what? Any example ever. Any example ever. It doesn't have to be recent. 
What's no, no, no. I'm, I'm just thinking about. I'm just thinking about like what re what recently changed. Um, I think transgender, uh, like a lot of information in regards to uh, transgender science and like science revolving around like um, intersex and and uh, and the scientific community's consensus in regards to like uh, uh, the the uh, the gender not being a binary thing changed for me uh, relatively recently, um, and I was also I was also I guess. Uh, partially captivated by the intellectual dark web and its allure, or I guess not even the intellectual dark web, but just like all the dumb shit that I had seen on the internet uh, that that purposely... Stop! Sorry. <laughs> My dog is fucking freaking out yeah, in the background. Well, I mean, yeah, that was getting okay. a little annoying. Um, yeah. Stop. Please. Don't wag your tail at me like that. <laughs> Please. Um... Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of uh, misinformation uh, in regards to that that I uh, uh, came to learn about, and even um, even the, uh, right, so the the trans so suicide would rates. Say, would you say that the data uh, was previously wrong and had been updated in, in later studies that changed your opinion, or did you have an opinion going and you hadn't looked at the data previously? No, much like much like many opinion. individuals, such as yourself, I didn't have. Uh, I mean, I had an opinion uh, uh, leading up to this that changed after I looked at the data. That's why I use that as an example. Okay, so so how do you know that the data uh, is not wrong? Like, right? So studies, science is an always as an ever evolving field. Yeah, if it's there's if there's additional information that comes out that disproves the previous, it, it, it like scientific well, I, community, so the scientific community rarely has consensus on system. on specific things, right? right? So if exactly. if there's new information so that comes out, if there's new information, hold on, uh, just let me. You ask me a question, so I'm giving you an answer. If new information comes out, and 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 it's drastically different, then of course I'm going to look at the new information, and and if it's if it seems legitimate. Uh, I have no reason to believe, I have no reason to not change my perspective on something. Okay, sure. I agree. And my point here is that I'm, I'm skeptical when I look at studies like that because they often change over time. And there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, but I, you still have a perspective. So where does lot, that come from? I, I would imagine that a lot of your political beliefs are based on exploratory studies that have not been peer reviewed, and they're just someone just throws it out there as an idea, Wait. and there's not a there's not a countering perspective or argument that that maybe maybe in your mind legitimate. But Wait, I'm confused. The, the thing is that like we You're learn and we grow as a society, and so you, you tell me that. Like, I have a belief system. I go find a study that verifies that, and therefore I'm right always. And so um, you're, you're, but it seems you're, to you're me like, but you like didn't even, you didn't even do your due diligence. Exist. But yeah, but you it didn't even do exist. your due diligence and actually bring a study forward to co that corresponds to your beliefs or your narrative. Dude, I, ho I hopped in a Twitch chat. I know, I know, but the difference is, yeah, the problem is you book. were, I know, but the problem is a lot of people such as yourself, and this is an issue with a lot of people on the internet, um, uh, individuals just like yourself have a perspective uh, oftentimes uh, riddled with confirmation bias and your personal experience anecdotal evidence uh, and you and you uh, and you and and like a lot of the things you you wow. socially learn uh, make up a big part of your belief structure and same instead with you. of same with you yeah instead of yeah but the difference between you and I is that I actually have evidence to back up my perspective See, and that's the and problem i and i'm I routinely right and and See, as a as a speaker right there is that okay you, you say i have this i have this point and no hold on hold on hold on do you want me to finish do you want me to finish do you want therefore, me to finish? i'm right and you're always wrong and like you're biased i you know the that's the whole like, point I mean, because then bullshit. we're having a feels over reels conversation it's you're coming reals, in with your though. feels. You're, I'm coming I'm in with the reels. There's no feels. other you're way not, to. You're not, they're not reels. I'm attacking your quote unquote reels, and you can't verify to me that they're legitimate because you didn't conduct the study and you don't fully understand them. You read the conclusionary fucking section and you say, this is what this study you're said. You're making a lot of assumptions for someone who didn't no, even I know, know, uh, know. Ab Abraham Lincoln's perspective on, on uh, states' rights. Dude, you're, a you're a political pundit, you're not an actual political scientist. You do this to and regurgitate practice talking points. It seems like then, you're just a butthurt Twitch commenter now who, who has been exposed I, for being I, a fucking I, fraud and is trying to do ad hominem oh, attacks. Fraud. 
I'm not ad hominem. This ad is hominem. When did, I, when did I ad hominem you? It's okay, Please. buddy. It, it's okay. You're doing great. Tr I, trust me. I, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. I do have a political science degree. Role. Yes. Yes, so do I. Uh, um, and whoa, damn. <laughs> Where from? Fucking Arizona online university. <laughs> See, it, the, the dude who literally just just attacked me for launching. Uh, well, I gotta I gotta move this conversation to make it a little bit more. One. I gotta make this conversation one. a little <laughs> bit more entertaining because. Wow, you're really playing the victim here. That's that's great, man. That's great. <laughs> no, I was you're making fun of you. You're launching which you which you've been doing the whole fucking time. No, you then, you know you know, you you know, know it's it's impossible for anyone too. to ever bring up a study lest they conducted it themselves. You're right. No, that's not my point. My point is that. You alone can't verify their legitimacy, and I haven't read the studies you're quoting. Therefore, yeah, but they're you, not relevant. But at least discussion. I have empirical evidence to back up my perspective. I have and, empirical and, evidence to back up my perspective. Okay, give me some empirical evidence to back up any of the things that you said. When I asked you for it, you said, I don't know, but there probably are studies conducted on this. That's not what I ever said. And, and which, yes, you did. In regards, yes, you point? did. In regards to uh, African American which families not point? being as religious as white families, and how that would pertain to fatherlessness in the African American community in regards to fatherlessness in the white community. So yes, you did do that. Um, so I, I just, I, I'm a little confused. I just want to understand. Look, I want to get to know you a little bit better, and I want to understand how you arrive at these conclusions, if not at, uh, if not by. I mean, it just seems like it's just your feeling, your personal feeling, if you don't have any sort of evidence. And you, you, study, so you said you studied political science. Um, I'm just trying to understand, like, how... Um, yeah, political you, science doesn't typically delve into that kind of shit. Like, I mean, did, did your political science class go over the religious beliefs of different uh, fucking race groups? I mean, like, I mean, it just depends. Uh, it, it depends on what class we're talking about. But most classes, as a structure, yes... Um, all of the books that I read, uh, for the most part, unless it was like political theory, was grounded in academic studies conducted, yes. Um, by who, though? Who were they conducted by? I don't know. I don't remember the fucking people that conducted the studies. Are you really making the yeah. argument again that yeah, in my something my that point, another conservative made that before, too? That if I don't remember, if I don't remember okay. every single person that conducted a study, that means that no, I can't use it? That wasn't it? what I was going to say. That, wasn't, that was not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is that Nine times out of ten, if not more than ten times out of ten, studies that you're quoting are done, conducted, and verified. I just want to know what you believe. Like, how do you how do you believe things Democrats, that you believe? If leftist socialists, okay, that are pushing a fucking but you have no proof for this. But you have no proof. For socialists? Wait, hold on. One, you have no proof for anything you just said. You're just throwing that out there once again. If you were to, if you could uh, turn around and be like, no, well. Here are the actual facts, and here is why those people would you absolutely have, be biased, and their personal true. perspective would taint the the results of the of the scientific research they're conducting, right? Because you because you can't just say scientific like, my ass, oh my god. I just social again, sci so, social scientific studies do not prescribe to the same scrutiny as okay. natural science if you don't believe if you don't believe in studies if you don't believe in studies at opinion. all if you don't believe that studies are uh, are good to to uh, at least like understand and analyze the world like if you don't uh, believe I in empirical believe evidence studies are, are relevant oh just the just, ones that you, you have, have read but yet you you've read hand, none you literally do this for a living and so you have hand-picked studies that you immediately fall back on anytime you're challenged on an issue so, like, if obviously I'm going to be ill-equipped to counter that because but, but I don't, I where I don't do this for a living, right? But that, but if, and if yet you're, you're still, if you're still condescending so as fuck. If your doctrine was so legitimate, why the fuck are we not just all on board? I mean, like, because why there the are morons like you thing? that exist in the world that think they're fucking intelligent when they're not and literally cannot grasp yeah. the very yeah. easily definable reality that yeah. they are just what, operating off of their base instincts like fucking base apes, instincts. okay? Ape. That's the okay. problem. <laughs> Right, right. You literally so think you are launch all, you are launching an intellectual of counter argument instincts. towards me by claiming that all of my studies are handpicked. You understand that? You understand that you it's, are making an anti-intellectual argument it's right now from a condescending attitude. You are literally the walking talking representation of the Dunning-Kruger effect in in real time right now. I mean, if you can tell me that you've You literally just cried about me over. backing up my arguments with actual factual evidence.
No, I, I did not cry, first of all. I called you out for doing it in a way that only bolsters your point. And this idea that there are no studies that, out, that exist out there to counter I'm that. Sorry that, that studies, I'm like, sorry that studies uh, kind of like take my side than yours. And, I'm sorry that right, science is on my just, side. It's, it's not true. I mean, it's Instead of crying correct. in the chat, a, why don't you go back? Incorrect. Why don't you go back and fucking read some books and maybe you can come back with some, some evidence yeah. so that we can have a conversation that is at the same level uh, independent thinker because it doesn't seem like you're you're thinking very intellectually uh, or seem independent. Like you're independent. Oh, and good one, dude. <laughs> you so fucking got you're, me. <laughs> you're completely biased and you find confirmation of that bias and you call it a study. Oh I mean, that's God. all you're doing. It's a fucking joke. Oh my God. This and this is, is so why bad. you can't... This is I'm going to find out what college you go America. to and send this to your fucking dean. I swear to God. Send this interview to your dean and be like, this is what you guys produced. <laughs> I mean, I, I go to a better school than you graduated from. That's for well, sure. And yet I'm still more intelligent than you. What does that say about the state of higher education? Huh, Probably liberal know, biases, right? Got him. I didn't know higher education taught intelligence. That's an interesting take. I'll, I'll swallow that. And, and okay. All right. Person. Studies on it. I For can't, someone who's I can't really confident in their intellect, you haven't been able to prove that studies. at all. It's just really weird. Uh, the guy who literally let said go, all the studies, the studies that you brought up are, are, are biased. What school did you go to then? Tell me. What school did you go to? Um, I already did. I, I went to Rutgers. What school did you go? What school are you going to right now? Or went to? <laughs> It's not a very great school, the one I went to. It is a, it is a good school, and if I say it, it there's just no point. You're not going to believe it, so I don't really care. It's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't matter what school you went to. I think everyone who uh, has, uh, anyone who has even stumbled across this conversation already has uh, a pretty good understanding of where your, your intellect and your knowledge is stunted in. So uh, it, it really doesn't I, matter. I really think you need to do a deep dive on what intellect is and just, uh, just really study that for a couple of days. Holy shit, you sound like Nick Mullen like now, by the way. Anyway, you really, you really showed us that. Uh, Please, my you're dude. You're right. Please, my dude. Okay, well, intellect, intellect, intellect for some reason in your world also doesn't time. correspond to intelligence because you've yet to make one intelligent argument. Says you, and you're not the arbiter of what is and is not intelligent. Okay. I reject that premise. Well, in, in this instance, argument. there are 2,821 people who are listening to this conversation, and they're all making fun of you for how fucking stupid you sound. I guess you're so oh you're, my you're God. so oh galaxy my God. brain. Twitch, you're so well galaxy brain that you. that, that you're so you're, galaxy that brain winning, that dude. you know that you, you. That's a big win. You've got the Twitch chat with you. Those are some high IQ individuals. I know. Those are and, some really well, well-read, educated individuals. Wait, I mean, hold on. God, wait, 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 wait. But you were, but you like were in the Twitch sleep. chat, you fucking moron. People like Slicker that literally you. were in the you. Twitch chat. I pulled you from the Twitch chat, you condescending fuck. I'm not saying everybody in the Twitch chat is dumb, but but the vast Everybody in the Twitch chat is dumb, except for me. <laughs> I am no, intelligent. There are, other, there are other educated, intelligent individuals, but I can I can base my opinion off of are you, peer-reviewed are, data on how often Slicker wins uh -huh. Raj's podcast okay. in a runaway. No, no, I you're mean, right. Raj, Raj, Raj Royale podcast is the same as like empirical evidence. Sexism. It, it, yes. Raj's I mean, podcast is the same as conducting a fucking longitudinal or like a, a or any sort of study uh, in you regards know, was, to that sociology, that's peer-reviewed. You're right. It's the same. You that know, you're you are you are showing once again how really brilliant you are. <laughs> did that really go over your head? You're really gonna try and score points there? Uh -huh. Jesus Christ! It did. Uh, you're that's just desperate. you're just too intelligent for me that's to understand, desperate. friend. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to let's go back to some other stuff. Well, what else do you think you disagree with me on? Because uh, it feels like uh, um, you're fairly contentional. It feels like we don't agree on anything. Um, what well, else? Likely not. No. I mean. You haven't brought anything to the table aside from, you know, some nihilistic rhetoric, some misdirections, movings of goalposts. Uh, so no, no, I disagree. Didn't know disagree. who Abe Lincoln was. <laughs> Science denialism. Yeah, How can I forget knew, that? I certainly knew who Abe Lincoln was. Oh my God. Um. Okay. Anyway. Uh, it's so your what show. else? I mean, do you do you want to do you want to still talk about some stuff or? Whatever you got, go for it. Um, how about uh, what? What other? What other? What? What do you think? Your what's, what's your strong how about a suit? The national emergency is the national emergency constitutional. Do you want to talk about that? 
um, the national emergency in the way that uh, in the way that Donald Trump is trying to use it right now? Is that what you're talking about? I mean, yeah, it's only national. I mean, what, who, who gives a fuck if something is constitutional or not? I, I don't give a shit about that even oh, remotely. So the Constitution is irrelevant. That's good. No. Well, I wish I Raj was in here guys. to tell you that the Constitution that, is a living document. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Constitution is, it, it, from my perspective, the Constitution is, is largely irrelevant. And that's why you have an entire uh, group mm -hmm. of lifetime appointed people that can uh, make changes mm -hmm. to it or amendments. So they yes, I mean that doesn't make it completely insignificant it. or irre irrelevant. What? It's like it's like a what? good. There is no. I don't believe that there is an end all be all of legal documents. Okay, can you define what you mean by end all be all of legal document? I, I, I mean, don't like, think that, that anyone. I don't think that anyone actually. Um, I mean, there wouldn't be different uh, kinds of 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 uh, constitutional scholars if it wasn't uh, rather subjective, and the interpretation of any sort of uh, scripture or any sort of text is is uh, somewhat personal, right? So it still is going to, it, it, you're, you're any, any time that any sort of, uh, any set of rules are subject to interpretation like that, um, you can't just sit there and be like, oh, well, we have to appeal to the Constitution because it's your perspective on what the Constitution says over another person's. I mean, maybe in the, in the case of like constitutional debates and, Okay, yeah, but, I mean, but um, wait, how do we get to the Constitution? Or how do we get to the Constitution again? Because you said something about the Constitution, but I don't even uh, remember what the... Uh, you, said, you said something about uh, consta, uh, the Supreme Court justices, jurists being unelected uh, people, which I agree with. I'm not debating that. But uh, Well, you, it seemed like you didn't agree with it earlier, I but... Issue. No, I took issue with you saying that they constantly change. Oh, oh, oh you said national emergency. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. You said... Um, do you think that uh, the national emergency is constitutional? And I said, I don't give a shit. Yeah, and that led into what I just said. Yeah, um, why, why, what's your perspective on the national emergency? I do think it is constitutional the way he exercised it under the powers granted to him from Congress. People are saying he circumvented Congress, but they gave him the authority to exercise uh, a national emergency and used funds from other agencies for the very purpose of building structures. So, um, I mean, just because he's not doing it what about, abroad doesn't mean What about mean a president's power? Do you think the presidential powers have expanded throughout time then? And and why for do you sure. interpret it? Sure, why do you uh, only interpret Nixon. things uh, on, on whether or not they're constitutional? Like, what's your personal perspective? Who gives a shit if it's constitutional or not? Because because the Constitution is what has kept this country afloat. It's is what's it? provided... I mean, maybe I'm wrong, yeah. but I thought it was imperialism and slavery, but... I'm probably wrong. You're probably right. I think it was the, it's probably that document. I mean, so, that, so it, it's probably that you, document that people uh, interpret very differently. What do you th what do you think freed slaves and eradicated slavery within our current society? It was the Constitution. When the, right? wait, but but we had slaves when it was when the when the founders originated uh, the the Constitution. Yeah, because so. that was the that was the pre predominant theme of the day but i mean so you understand as we that so you understand that as you we know litigated the actual constitution and started to say that we have god-given inalienable rights that the government can't treat people inequitably they can't single out certain people based what on what would race. you say that it's is all, what, what did you say how did that happen how did what happened so how, how did what you're describing happen through ferocious and healthy debate no no what is it called policy no. fights what is it called what are you talking about? You're saying the Supreme Court, like Brown v. Board and okay. all that? Just, okay. Just – no, what is it? I don't know what you're alluding to. You're, you, what is what called? Okay. What What are you asking? What is what called? Freeing I just the slaves of, I, and, 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 okay. uh, and, and abolishing slavery. slavery. Abolishing slavery. Okay, thank you. Uh, what is that called? Is that what your question was? I, I'm, I, I just want you to say amendment, dude. I just like that's what I, I wanted. Yes, to, I know. I, mean, I, I wanted yeah. you to say amendment, but yeah. I don't know why you just wouldn't say it. Um, so you understand you that the, the same on, constitution that know. you, the same constitution that you were talking about, that like, um, you know, never changes does uh, end up. Uh, changing. I did not say it never changes. Then who gives a fuck that. about the con from a from a constitutional I said perspective? That the constitution itself gave us the ability to change it. Right. That's why you. That's why you prescribe. That's why we prescribe to it. It literally provided us the mechanism to deal with deep social divides, to deal with 
problems in our society that we can't seem to fix through legislation and through the Supreme really? Court. We have an alter uh, we have an alternative, and that's to amend the Constitution, right? I feel like so, uh, originally it was just a bunch of you know um, slave owners who got together and were like, right. like this is this the is the foundational script, and we understand that it should be able it should be subject right, to change great. throughout time, but. The degradation of our founding fathers, because you wait. Hold are on, so I'm sorry. Were they not educated? Wait, hold on. Were they not? Uh, uh, yeah. Did they not wait, own so, slaves? So are you, what you're saying, what you're saying is because they own slaves, that nothing they did was positive. That everything they did. Did I say is, that? That's the that's the implication you're making. Yeah, you just oh, called them a oh, bunch of slaves. Oh, do you want to have an argument with the implications that I'm making, or do you want to have a conversation it, with me where you can well, ask I me mean, some questions? We're not to, we're not talking about just what we're arguing. You've got an ignorant, somewhat ignorant audience that doesn't understand these things, and so it's yeah. I, I don't, you were I in it not that long ago. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm a part of it. I'm I'm born of it. But I reject the idea that our founding fathers were just some irrelevant they just slave some, owners. They weren't just some slave owners. They I mean they participated in genocide too in meaningful ways. See, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, the, wait, is that untrue? You that your character. Wait, I'm sorry. Is that a mischaracterization of things that they did? They they created the most free and successful society that has ever existed in, in the history of mankind, and you are fucking lucky and blessed to be a part of it. Hmm. That's my position and Wait, retort to uh, that. Wait, I mean, that's not even a retort. I'm just trying to understand. It did is, anything yeah. I say, was you anything wanna, I, you wanna did anything about, I say, you wanna, was anything I, I said incorrect? Could you correct me if I was, uh, I'm not if I was gonna incorrect? Litigate, you're just making I'm not going to litigate their sins. That's ridiculous. I mean, I you're mean, just making a, a it, bunch it, of like emotional statements now uh, about the founding fathers for some reason. They're not, they're not emotional. What? <laughs> They're, they're factual. I mean, there are quantifications by saying that we're the most free, successful, powerful country. Like, I can quantify that in terms of wealth, in terms of our military influence, in terms of a lot of different factors. But oh, military I mean, influence? Yeah. Okay. The scope and influence of our military, yeah, on a global um, state. Anyway, uh, freedom is a really, freedom is a really the, interesting know, concept, and I think, we can, I think we can talk about that more. Um, but I just want to go back to... Uh, the reason why I brought up uh, slave ownership, um, because I don't want to I, talk. I just, why do you Why do you want to like talk about oh, that? Oh, because no, no, no. What, well, you'll understand that? if you let me speak, right? So, um, the reason why I brought up slave ownership in this respect is because obviously, um, during that time, uh, the 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 culture was was drastically different. Our understanding of human nature, even the way you you were bringing that argument up, was drastically different. But if there was one thing that they understood that that, that throughout time, um, you know, these these uh, uh, th this text could potentially change and should potentially change. So that's that's the point I was originally making. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to uh, uh, to, to have an argument about the whether it was constitutional or not. Um, if we're I having because you want to you want to do away with the Constitution. You want no, I don't want to do away with it. I just don't give a shit when we're having a when we're having a conversation about now, that's the national goal. emergency. Is that not, are you going to tell me that that's not your ultimate goal? Is that the no? I want to steal. I want to steal the Declaration of Independence. To cause political revolution and to rebuild America from a new. No, I want to. No, I want to. I want to steal the Declaration of Independence. So that's not your goal. Yeah. You're on the record as no, that. my goal is to steal the Declaration of Independence. No, I want a legitimate answer. I mean, it seems like you've made up your mind about me uh, uh, trying to no, fucking destroy the Constitution in its entirety. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you don't you don't have reverence for the Constitution because you don't you don't want to prescribe by no, it. I understand it for what it is. I understand it for what it is. You can use it as a guideline, but doctrine. it's really silly to to fall back into. Uh, uh, into the constitutionality of of uh, uh, like mean, the ridiculous. the way that the way that Trump silly. was using um, uh, by the way what, that Trump by was what using national emergency. Silly, you mean you make all your you make all your fucking points based on peer reviewed uh, fucking metadata, longitudinal studies. Where's there a study that says it's ridiculous to, to prescribe to the Constitution and that that's harmful to us? Wait, I don't know, that, that's an emotional argument. Wait, like, so what? You're just criticizing me of making those. So, okay. no, no, I'm just saying. What if you have a position uh, that the constitutional that the constitution is irrelevant? So, uh, what are you using to justify that? Is that just? I'm your not own saying that the constitution is irrelevant. I'm saying that it's not necessarily an interesting argument to have whether or not national emergency in the way that Donald Trump used it is 
uh, constitutional, given the fact that that's all of that is subject to change, right? So, so what you're saying is that like, anything that's anything that's subject to change because of the ever evolving nature of the Constitution is irrelevant to debate. I mean, so if we were having, I said it's not as interesting, especially because I mean, it, it's just not interesting to, to to have this conversation. Yes, the president, the presidential powers have greatly expanded throughout time. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I I don't I agree. like. I don't think that I don't think that was initiated under Trump. I mean, we got to where we yeah, are. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of I, I'm not a big fan of Obama drone striking w. an American citizen as well. I, I'm not a big fan of that yeah. either. Yeah, I mean, it's been a gradual creep, but okay. Well, what do you want to talk about then? Um, I don't know. I mean, why why did you wanna why did you wanna uh, bring up like the 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 whether it was constitutional over the president? I didn't have I didn't have like some deep philosophical point I was trying to reach it was just because it's a prevailing topic of today's media coverage Imagine okay. that most of these people have like, is it I feel like uh, the, not the immediately people today, are talking okay, about is Jesse Smollett's about innocence report, then? Or yeah? Jesse Smollett's innocence, Jesse Smollett's <laughs> innocence. Um, that dude is not innocent if he's you, so if you, innocent you, dude he's the most innocent are you fucking kidding me he's, the, that he's is so fucking innocent fucking horse shit Everybody um, in this chat, if you believe that he is innocent, why are you getting so mad, dude? Get mad. Get mad. He's so stupid. fucking innocent, dude. Yeah, you're He's you're so literally deep throating. You're deep throating the microphone right so now. That's how fucking mad you are. Whoo! He's so innocent. Ooh. He's, he's definitely mm. not innocent. I believe, yeah, I mean, ladies and your gentlemen, own, your own fucking party, one of your former party leaders. Fuck Rahm Emanuel. Innocent. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jesse Smollett is the most he innocent. Obama dude. Oh. make the reach the White House. And help that administration. He himself has said he's guilty. So I, I rest my case. I, you didn't rest your case at all. Um, but I, no, no, no. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm. I, I mean, he's technically innocent. But no, I, I. Of course, we all think he's, and everyone in the chat also thinks that he he absolutely did stage a hate crime. I just like to fuck with you because this is something that especially white people get very upset over. No, um, it's not because I'm white. It's not because I'm white. Oh, it's, it's not. You like, just have a personal. Yeah. You just have a a, a personal gripe with um, a, a black man avoiding a, a prison sentence. Well, I guess. See, when you frame it that way, that huh, that kind of rhetoric, of course, you're. Trying Why are to you frame upset? In racial terms. Why are you my, upset with Jesse Smollett uh, avoiding? Uh, because uh, it sentence? looks it looks like Democrats helping another party activist this dude is an outspoken lgbtq well robert Mueller was a republican and it seems like he helped out he trump a little bit didn't he he immediately anti-trump and all of a sudden he gets a walk because uh, he did fucking some community service a few years ago like then why bullshit. were you well, then why were you mentioning a, a democrat Rahm Emanuel who was criticizing it because i was saying if he of all people can criticize it then you know something suspect but i mean it was a democrat da uh, who uh, quote unquote rec recused herself and her fucking lackey who dropped the charges so and she, not to mention the DA who, who charged him initially uh, was fucking running for mayor so I mean of course she did this to score political points I mean it's, it's fucking obvious what uh, that's systemic corruption I mean that's thank you techno bullshit. prep for the 10 tier one gift subs buddy um oh that's systemic corruption okay yeah that's um, that's someone. Okay, what about for what campaign. about Donald Trump, who uh, who made uh, no collusion? What? No collusion? No, no, no. no I don't. Collusion? No, I don't believe in this. Stuff. You're you're obviously new here, no so collusion. just you're obviously new <laughs> no here. Wait, was that no collusion? Was that what Robert Mueller said? No collusion? Wait, I, I think that's, hey buddy. I think that was the final. Hey buddy, I know you're not a big fan study. of. I know you're not a big no fan collusion. of empirical evidence, but maybe, <laughs> but maybe sit down and try to uh, learn about what my perspective has been. And then we can have a conversation before you okay, try to be ahead. condescending, sure, you idiot. Ahead. I'm not. No, I was not being condescending. Yeah, you're like, no collusion? Yeah, no oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I believe that there was collusion, that. you fucking dummy. I didn't say you did. I was. <laughs> why? So why were you condescending as fuck? Like, <laughs> I got him. It, no, because it's a clear political win for Republicans. <laughs> oh, and, God. Oh, your team and, won? Thank God. Um. Anyway, listen. Right now I am, yeah. Um. Oh, uh, where were we? Okay, before we got the, we got before we got fucking derailed. <laughs> the, on, on the no collusion. Okay. 
That's right, Roy. Rogers. Before we were before we right. were uh, before we were talking about the collusion, uh, where were we? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, we were talking about uh, like systemic China. corruption. Oh, oh, I was gonna say. Okay. To so China. as soon as I uh, it, no, no, because you said systemic corruption, and that's what that is. Yeah, you um, said something about. And Trump. I and I don't disagree with you in regards to Jesse Smollett. I just wanted to understand uh, if you have like a, a a similar perspective when it comes to systemic corruption uh, in regards to like uh, all the people that Donald Trump pardoned, including. Um, uh, what's that fucking share? Joe Arpaio, uh, Dinesh D'Souza, uh, a multitude of other I people. Um, I don't or think, no. or, or I the don't fact think that Donald Trump gave uh, Acosta uh, a, a really awesome fucking position. I think he's the Secretary of, of Commerce now uh, after he was the prosecutor on his other buddy, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, Florida case uh, where, uh, of international sex trafficking where he got a sweetheart plea bargain deal where he went to a fucking halfway home for a year, basically, for uh, allegedly raping uh, over 30 underage girls and, and, and trafficking them internationally. Do you have an issue with that, or do you think it's only systemic corruption when a black guy avoids jail for so, uh, faking okay. a hate crime? First of all, why do you have to classify him as a black guy? Is he a white guy? I, I, he's just a guy. You know, he's just a guy. Oh, okay. well, the reason I'm, why I'm classifying it in that about respect. You identity politics and you bring race into every The reason why I'm bringing I'm it not, up is because him being black is, is entirely... No, him being black is entirely relevant, and here's why. From your perspective. From your perspective. Okay, but I you don't... You don't. I know. I know you're going to tell me you don't see race in a second, okay? Just listen. Listen, buddy. All right? The reason why I'm bringing that up is because it's rather odd that I never hear... These sorts of uh, these sorts of compelling cries for justice, when there is so much injustice deeply embedded in our criminal justice system, when it comes to black victims, but but as soon as OJ gets off on a, a very obvious thing that he did, or as soon as Jussie Smollett uh, gets off on a very obvious thing that he did, holy fuck, all all hell breaks loose. All of a sudden, the fucking president is tweeting about it. Not only 24 hours after, not okay, only so 24 hours after he was okay. not even exonerated, but uh, his investigation uh, was con concluded. Okay. In, in, so in I'll, I'll launching an that. additional investigation from the FBI. <laughs> but so why okay, do you think so that happens? What are you right? I so I would respond to that by saying I think that you're basing your opinion on your own subjective take on what you would classify as quote unquote outrage. And uh, there's no quantification. Wait, there's no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. There's, there's no there's outrage. No, there's no clear distinction, distinction on our bias of outrage on one side on an issue. Or I would say the president, I would say the president literally tweeting about this. I would say the president literally tweeting about this is, is like fairly, uh, it's, it's pretty hysterical, right? I mean, it, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. I'm glad. You, hey, you hey, I'm glad that. you admitted that. Okay. Um, all right. Should, do I believe the FBI should look at it? Why not? I mean, hate hate crimes are a federal offense. So if he faked one, I'm do sure. Do you think the Russia kind of investigation federal... was a waste of money and resources? Uh no, I don't. Okay, I good. Really no, don't. I'm glad. I'm glad that that uh, we we have uh, uh, we have similar perspectives on some things. I was legitimately concerned about I'm not I never really thought that Trump was like a Russian agent or anything, but I was legitimately concerned about, you know, coordination at some level. And if that was true, I would condemn Trump just as fast as anybody else like I that that's bullshit. I hate Russia as much as the next person. Like, I, don't I don't hate Russia. Why do you hate Russia? That's kind of weird because they're literally antithetical to our our. Li our religious, political, uh, I, Wait, every doctrine a, you can a, measure. A white society Christian by nation their... is antithetical to our religious doctrine. What? No, I just think that the the poison that they spread and and the way that what they what kind of govern, poison can you I, can you elaborate a little bit? Well, the way that they just like go uh, usurp land that's not theirs from Ukraine, the way that they I would say that that I would say that that is East, nearly identical, if murders. not exactly the same as what the United States has been doing and has and is still currently doing. So you're saying that that no, Russia I just said it's not antithetical. It's nearly level. identical, actually. <laughs> no, no, but but you're making a you're make, you're using that to make a broader point, which you're saying that you the U.S. and the and Russia are. I never on, justified on imperialism. Just for the record, just so you know, uh, and I know you don't know all my uh, perspectives, but no, I think it's bad when both uh, sides do it. 
That's not my point. My point is that uh, I, I'm not saying that it's always bad for America to get involved in foreign elections. I, I everybody's going to do it. I think we have a more uh, we have more of a prescription that's based in freedom and democracy than Russia would, and they're them spreading their poison. What I mean is what kind of freedom and democracy? Of, the lack do we of have freedom. Their, their state controlled. Their state controlled media. I mean, are you literally, literally just literally saying it's good when the United States does imperialism, but it's bad when Russia does it? Yeah, hundred percent. Can you yeah. can you explain to me why it's good when the United States does imperialism? Because we actually we have an actual democracy. Well, we have a republic at least, but that that it, we're much more democratic than Russia is. They they literally they have a murderous dictator at the helm who silences his enemies by cutting off their fucking heads. I mean, it's not exactly a very so when the united place. states they have so when state the united states media. we have literally, a justice system okay. we prescribe to are you familiar like, with like uh, latin american history at all because this is something that uh, uh michael was uh alluding to or at least like briefly talked about um are you familiar with any of the stuff that went down in latin american countries sure yeah as a consequence of can you can you briefly talk about um maybe some of the dictatorships or some of the military dictatorships that we uh we put in positions of power in an effort to uh in an effort to fight communism all around the world uh and and the consequence of that the consequences of that uh yeah that, i, that still I exist? i'm aware that it that it so wouldn't that be wouldn't that be literally the united states a democratic profitable. nation putting undemocratic people and and not only just interfering with foreign elections but like personally instituting mili violent military coups causing genocides disruption destabilization and literally bringing about violent military authoritarians uh all around the world D wouldn't you say that the the impact of that is much worse like quantifiably than, worse wait worse than than anything else that any fucking country has done or is doing currently no, i would no i wouldn't I, russia's defense of assad after he bombed his people with chemical weapons is way more abhorrent than that I mean, and yes we've done things in the past wait that hold on i'm sorry proud of, um what about we were young okay well, and well not to not to like go back too far in history but you're familiar that there are still uh seven ongoing crises in the middle east that the united states is engaged in right um, and and we're facilitating the nation, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We, we are young. We're giving I, them. Do y'all not know how young we are relative to a lot of other? Wait, societies? we're young and we're growing. Right. Is that what you just said? We are young, yeah, relative to history, yeah, relative to the UK. So I does mean, that mean? Fuck? Wait, what kind of justification does that give us uh, in regards? It to It means that you make mistakes. Them? It means that you make mistakes. You have people that are power hungry that assume office and do things that they think are in the best entry, uh, interest of global democracy, but that aren't. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the coups that America orchestrated were what they thought was going to be uh, stabilization. They did it to install a governmental power really? that would stabilize the economy and stop what about some Vietnam? of the warfare that was breaking out. Do you think that was about stabilization? Like I said, no, like I said, we've done things that we are not I mean, proud of. I just don't I'm understand not, if, there was, um, if there was if there was if what stabilization. You're, what you're arguing, what you're arguing is because we've done things that aren't great that there thereby everything we do is bad. And I don't I don't dis I that's vehemently not, disagree. With that's yes, not what I'm doing things, at all. But that doesn't make us bad. Like we are okay. still better than Russia. I guess, I guess you, you can have a I guess you can have an argument with yourself instead of having an argument with me. Then okay, I never said that. Um, also, uh, accidental genocide well, then is answer not, the accidental answer the genocide question, is not necessarily something that uh, uh, I'm comfortable with. Um, and, uh, and are we given better the, than given Russia? The though? United That's a States' is very violent history. It almost seems to me like the U.S. genocide is uh, one of the things that's uh, fairly uh, consistent. Can you, can you not answer that question? Are we better than Russia? Are we better in what by what metric? And also being better, by how does that, how would that of freedom? No, no, no. Uh, well, by a metric, a metric of, of freedom. Uh, okay. By a metric of installing democratic societies as opposed to murderous dictatorships. Yeah, no, we're and not. The ones that oppress oh, people by, uh, uh, and, if that's limit, the metric? and limit no, we're access not. to, it, it, to it, information. No, no, no. That by, install if, governments. It, that installing installing puppet dictatorships. We are number one in the world. Uh, we are by far number one. Like literally. 
um, in the in the like neo-colonial era and onward, we are number one and we will be number one in installing violent autocratic dictatorships. Yes. Then why were we at odds with Russia and taking out Assad? Um, He's a violent, because Russia. Dictator. Okay, I can explain it to you. Do you want me to explain it to you? No, I know the answer, but you I don't know the answer. Take. You have a. Do you, okay, give me the answer, and then I'll actually no, talk no. to you about what it, what the reality give is. Give me your talking points, and I'll respond with the okay. actual answer. I mean, you don't have to look. You're getting a, a, a literal free education here. Maybe you could be a little Jesus less condescending. Christ. Um, That's, I mean, you have. You're talking about condescension. You just told me you're educated. Yes, because as you have admitted, I am a professional. I'm a professional political commentator, and beyond that, this is something that I studied and obviously have knowledge over. Yet, and yet, you are, uh, for the past at least hour and a half, uh, you have been. Uh, the only thing you've been consistent on is is talking about how uh, studies are bullshit because they're all biased without bringing up a single fucking piece of evidence, and 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 uh, demonstrating that you don't even have. Uh, remotely the same, uh, th th remotely the knowledge necessary to have a, an intellectual conversation in regards to anything that that um, in regards to anything that pertains to history. Mm. Sure. Okay. So I know nothing about history, is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying you don't know anything about history, but it, it, but it seems like it. You're presenting yourself in that way. No, I don't. I don't. I disagree. I think just because you don't, you don't I think, don't. Agree so wait, you disagree you, that you, you're presenting you yourself assume, as a dumbass uh, in regards I di to I the historical knowledge? I disagree that I have no grasp on on history and 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 an ability to have no, a conversation. I didn't say no. I didn't say no uh, grasp, but you keep saying like talking points in an effort to try to belittle uh, uh, what I'm trying to tell you, uh, and it's kind of um, I don't know. It, it's like a little weird. I feel like we're off track here. Weren't we talking about Russia and yeah. Syria? Yeah. Um, so give me why you think uh, the U.S. opposes Russia uh, uh, in, 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 in Syria, and then we can talk more about it. No, no, no. I, wanted, no, I had already said that we do that. I asked you to no, tell you, me No, you said point. that we did that, and I asked you, why do you think that happens? And you said you'll educate me, so please. No, I, after you give me your perspective, maybe you and no, I... No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you... Pick from my perspective. I'm you not going to pick from your perspective at all. I'm assuming that we're not going to agree. I just want to hear your perspective, and I now feel like you're a little worried uh, that it's going to be wrong. And instead of getting no, dunked sorry. on, you're going to wait for me to to actually tell you what's the truth. You can't. You can't dunk on me on this. I I know that we. Okay, go on we then. Wanted control, well, then educate we me. Want to control Thank you. Syria because of their. We want to. No, it's just my perspective. I'm not educating you. We're having a conversation. There's a difference. Uh. Hey, we want to control in Syria because it gives us access to oil in the region and because we didn't want Russia to have a, you know, a foothold in the Middle East. We wanted we want to control the land there. And I mean, of course, that's put us at odds with Russia. OK, that but was good. Then you're you're, you're almost you're do. almost completely correct. Um, I have nothing else to add to that beyond. Uh, yeah, it, I was. That's exactly what I was going to say. Geopolitical control. It's a proxy war. And um, yeah. Yeah. OK. So you understand that you understand that these are both countries that are um, it's not oil, by the way, it's oil pipelines um, in, in an effort to open no, up mean, Russia's access. access to oil. Yeah, no, not just oil, oil pipelines. So and, and natural gas so that um, Russia can can have access to the European marketplace. Uh, another thing that they did was uh, 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 an arrangement with Turkey uh, in the uh, in the uh, Black Sea. I forget the name of the fucking deal, but um, they're just trying to, they're just trying to sell uh, natural gas uh, to uh, uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so uh, the United States, uh, can you give me an example of uh, where the United States has actually promoted freedom and installed like a, a, a democratic uh, leadership? I'll, g I'll give you an example of where they've protected freedom. Okay, give me uh, an example of where they've protected Israel. freedom. What? Is Israel. Israel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew you would like that one because you're so you're so anti-Jew. So this is a good topic. Wait, I thought Israel wasn't even supposed. Wait, is Israel an ethno state? Is Israel uh, under the control of a murderous dictator? No, no, hold on. Is Israel an ethno state? No. Um. Well, then why did you say that? Uh, you know, you hate Israel because you're so anti-Jew. Because they're the prevailing ruling class there. Huh. Okay. I just wanted to understand because, um, 
because you don't like you don't like America supporting Israel. Like I've heard your talking points on this. Uh huh. Uh, and okay. you're and you're do you think criticizing do you think criticizing Omar a foreign nation is do you think me criticizing Saudi Arabia earlier in in regards to uh, uh bombing the fuck out of Yemen and and causing one of the worst famines that we've seen thus far uh in the 21st century do you think that that was me being islamophobic I never said you were islamophobic what but but you just implied that I'm um anti-Jew because I I delivered structural criticism towards okay. Israel <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. Say some stuff. Some stuff. No, just why keep are talking. You, why are you speaking for him? Here and they're continuing are... to come. This is not. No, like most of the people that. Wait. Um, hold on. Hold on. Inevitably moves us to a centralized, uh, you know, socialist, socialist democracy. Government. No, not socialist democracy. A socialist. Can government. you can you say some stuff uh, now? Socialist government. It's... Do you? Can you say some stuff? Yes, hello. Um, can you say hello. inevitably moving hello. us towards a socialized democracy? Inevitably, how about, how about, inevitably moving us towards a socialized democracy. How about, the, how about a single parent? Why are you making your voice deeper now? I'm not. You know, socialist, socialist democracy? I'm just, I'm, I'm, no, not socialist democracy. Dumb find it founded by government. what this is. On our oh, area. socialist government. Do you, do you not understand? <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. No, he's not the fiscal conservative guy. That's a different dude. The real conversation. Why is a wall a the exact number, but you were the one that was made. <laughs> Can you, do you think empirical evidence has to be... Wait, so it can't be estimates then? You can't... We can't talk... Oh, my God! We had this exact same conversation in regards to empirical evidence! What the fuck? <laughs> I, I promise you, you're mis your mistake. Talk about estimates anymore in this conversation? No, we can't talk about estimates, but I can estimate just like you can. Like, okay, you're but not, you're, you're but your converse no, but I'm my estimate. Uh, yeah, my estimates are rooted still within studies and census data. So, All right, so obviously, are we I'm done not here? F that are, are are estimates. Wait, I'm not gonna just sit here and like wait, listen. But and they're not, this is they're not wait. Uh, do you have okay? <laughs> You didn't just talk to me. You talked to me and Raj. Maybe that's why you're no. confused or something? I promise you, you're mistaking me with someone else, dude. No, you're <laughs> laughing now. Yeah, because this is a bit, This is getting a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, like, for the past five minutes, you've just sat there, like, scrutinizing whether or not I am who you think I am or whether oh, or not I'm someone okay. else. I, like, guess, you know. I guess I talk. I, well, I'm sorry. I guess I probably talked to someone who sounds exactly like you in a very di with a very distinct voice um, that that also did not care for that also did not care for uh, empirical evidence and also accused me of being biased and just backing up my uh, perspective with biased studies um, at which point it's just you're repeating NPC talking points but uh, I'm sure that, I'm sure that it. What is uh, what is NPC? Like like a bot. Okay. Anyway, um. All right. All Been right, fun, let's, dude. Let's keep going. Do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about the wall? What do you think about the wall? Uh, yeah, I think it at this point is no longer a relevant debate because Trump has declared a national emergency. There's no political Well, no, I just want to understand, like, do you think the wall is successful uh, as far as uh, policy goes? Like, do you think it'll uh, reach any of the, uh, the initial goals? Like, do you think it will uh, be uh, successful in, in um, you know, doing the things that Trump uh, claims it will do? What, like reducing illegal border crossings? Why are you Do going immediately there? Some... Why would you want to reduce illegal border crossings? Why would you not want to reduce illegal border crossings? Because I don't think that um, illegal immigrants are, are um, you know, they're not a strain on our economy. And so they... you want open borders? Yeah, oh, of course. Okay. 
I mean, I win. <laughs> What if you, you say you want open you borders, we're having you, a we're having a com- we're having a argument. we're having a theoretical conversation about um, that why should we have open borders or not? You uh, backing yourself you by you backing it. yourself into a corner by saying that you you win because Donald Trump was able to fucking cry his way into getting uh, some of the border funded, some of the border wall funded doesn't mean that you won anything. No, no, no I win Donald because Trump. you're arg- I win because you're arguing for open borders. Oh, how do you win by by default? Like because you called your because you said you won? No, because you have zero empirical data to back up that as an effective policy. Wait, but I thought and data. Thus, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. You're, hold you're on. Being Can we just intellectually inconsistent with your entire belief system? Can I just and ask how you something? you approach political discourse? Um, thus, you have lost. Can I? Can I ask regard. you something? Um, yes. Do you have empirical evidence, and if so, why are they? Why is it not? Uh, why is it not biased? Unlike uh, the I'm empirical not, evidence I, that I had, that was biased leading up to this point in the conversation. I, I'm not making an argument for open borders. You are. <laughs> okay, so like, I don't need evidence to say that it's bad for me to reject the idea as being good. Wait, how, you're saying how else, it's a how policy else would you, description. How, how else you have the you onus of proof. On, you have the burden of proof. All right. So if you're going to tell us that we need to shift okay, our political that that, you, stance you on immigration to open borders, you flip the narrative no, by by. I said you were arguing for con- open borders. The original point That's of contention it. was, I asked you, why do you think Trump's border wall will actually achieve any of the results that Trump wants to achieve? And instead of giving me an answer, you flipped the script and asked me. So. Um, what my perspective was, and I said, I care about open borders, but I'm asking you right now, and originally was asking you, why uh, do you, like, what do you think it will stop aside from, like, why do you want to stop illegal border crossings? Because that's the law. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. why do you want to, why do you want to arrest people who murder other people? I don't, like, it's the law. We're enforcing our laws. Okay. <laughs> Is let's there, is let's, there an issue? let's move a little bit. Let's. <laughs> you have issue with that? <laughs> what is so funny? Oh, because you're, because it's hard to have a conversation with you because one, we've already had a very similar conversation, um, in the past. I, Apparently, dude, January. I 30th. promise. I promise you, you are mistaking me for someone else. Like I, I can't. I, I don't know what else to give you there. But. I mean, you do. It, it, it's fine. You you make great content, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna allow it. Um, but I gotta get going pretty soon anyway. So why? Cause you got outed. No, cause I have, it's almost ten o'clock and I have some work to finish up. Didn't you work in a? I have wait, a job. Did you I ever? Did you work job. at a? Um, did you work at a, a a a political? Like, were you a political consultant at any point? No, I'm. I work in the bank industry, finance industry. Mm, okay. Um. Anyway. Hold on. So we were talking about it's the law. Do you want me to describe to you why saying something is the law is not uh is not really a, a, an argument that you could be making in this instance? Because okay, what if it wasn't the law? Like we're not having a conversation about. I didn't ask you if you think. Uh, uh, do, I didn't ask you if the if the law exists. I didn't ask you if there's immigration law that makes it illegal. I asked you, why do you think, like, what do you think we are trying to prevent with illegal or undocumented immigrants crossing the border? Uh, we're trying to have uh, a measured flow on who is coming in and out of our country. Okay. For reasons of this economic is a good, this is a good step. and social sustainability. What What do you mean by social sustainability? Large influx fluxes of foreign nationals, as much as you may argue against this, will impact society and in cultural and social ways. Do you have any there evidence are for the cultural be, uh, uh, ways that? Um, that will be negative? Like, what kind of negative impact could uh, change in culture uh, be? And how much, I, how much culture I, I could potentially change if, if uh, people could that, come in? I, I, can't, I can't quantify how much culture could change. There, that, I, it, what? But 
and yet you um, I can I can say that there are, there are always unintended consequences to good policy so it's better in to take a measured approach than to allow undocumented numbers of people to flow into the country wait what if we what if we made it what if we made it legal and we documented everyone that was coming in therefore because we made it we made everyone uh, legal uh, in that instance uh, do you think that there would still be a, a, a negative would, impact we wouldn't be documenting everybody like just because we made Why not? illegal immigration because there how do you how do you fucking quantify everybody who's been here illegally like do you think everybody's going to participate in the census okay, like do you what? think that everybody who's here illegally would not uh, register if they had the opportunity to have full citizenship I think a sizable portion of them would but I, I again if we don't secure our border how can we stymie the flow of another large influx of immigrants who wouldn't classify as being illegal but I mean they're just all going what like kind of go advantages would the they have government. not uh, being what kind of advantages would they have if there are literally no legal ramifications for uh, being uh, undocumented in this country and for not being have, documented right yeah right, it, right, it, I if, if, uh, all, all, if, if we no longer if we no longer uh, uh, criminalize wait what did you say evading taxes yeah they wouldn't have they yeah, wouldn't yeah but have you to wouldn't be, be able to work uh, you, you don't paid. have access to the same level no, you don't paid. have access to the same kinds of employment as an undocumented person they still pay sure, taxes too, by the way, just so you know. Consumption taxes, yeah, but if they're being paid cash under the table th to do low wage work, then. Yeah, they exactly. Be paying low wage work. work. So that wouldn't benefit them regardless because they would be, they would essentially be uh, uh, limiting themselves and, and not be able to take advantage of like the uh, social safety nets, not be able to take advantage of well, anything they, basically. Um, and and what if what, they for, don't, what's what the if what, they what nickeling no... di nickel and diming like a uh, fucking a uh, uh, 15k a year salary? In which case, by the way, just so you know, in which case you probably would be under the 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 federal limit for poverty, and you probably wouldn't be paying taxes anyway. You'd probably be getting back taxes in that instance. At 50k? What? No, 15. No. 15. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, I took my headset off for a second. Um. Yeah, I, I do. Which, I by do the way, that, part of the reason why, uh, like, you know. But what, what, what do you have to say about a large number of them hypothetically coming to the country just to be able to send money back to Mexico, not registering? Yeah, because that's they part of the reason why. Out of no, it. that's actually part of the reason so why most, if not all, economists agree and, and uh, think that open borders would be a good thing. That's, a, that's actually a really good thing. The reason why that's a really good thing is because if. Uh, they send money back to the host country. They start revitalizing certain parts of their. their they start revitalizing their industries. They start. Um, they start rehabilitating their economy. Uh, open borders is not only good for the country of uh, uh, the country they're traveling to, but also the country of origin that they're coming from. So essentially, what you're saying is we should pay to revitalize Mexico's economy. Is that what you're saying? Um, they should take economic activities that, from America and invest in a foreign country. Do you not understand that revitalizing the country. Mexican economy would also help the United States economy? Or do we you already do enough to help game? stimulate. We already no. We already do enough to help stimulate their economy. I don't think we need like to what? do more in that regard. Like what? Like manufacture cars there. Also, like if send they're paying, also if they're pay jobs wait. by the tens of thousands there that close pa that close plants in the Northeast and the Midwest. Uh, there, there's n like quantifiable evidence to show how much economic generating we are. Are you talking about? Are you talking about the fact there. that we're exploiting uh, Mexico for their uh, loose labor restrictions, making it because it's a lot cheaper to fucking. Uh, shit on the already uh, poor Mexican population in comparison to the white working we're class. We're not shitting on them. We're giving them. We're generating economic activity. Like. Yeah. Well, would don't you, you think that it would? Would be, they prefer us to not have that? Do you there? not understand they, that I mean, my <laughs> argument was literally that um, this would be a much better way to generate economic activity in Mexico rather than exploiting them? Why would I give a fuck about generating economic activity in Mexico? I'm worried about generating economic well, activity it, it, for it Americans. Well, it seemed to me like you wanted to restrict immigration for one reason or another, and the best possible way to restrict yeah, immigration it's a, it's would probably be to make sure that Mexico... I, hold on. The best possible way to restrict immigration for good would be to improve the material conditions of the other country that has a fucking, you know, thousand-mile border with you. Yeah, I mean, that's, by the way, that's no the logical reason. There's also that. other reasons, like they're human beings, for example. 
like should we help them i i don't think we shouldn't but that doesn't mean that we should let them come in in large numbers to our country take economic activity out of our country and reinstitute it back into theirs like How much, what, i, I do don't you think that okay that why do you think that, that on their own. why do you think that uh there could be a measurable impact that would be negative if um uh, independent families while also paying fucking taxes on their income could then turn around and send a measly portion of that back to mexico in order to help their families and help improve um the the mexican economy a little bit why do i think that would be bad yeah because that's taking economic act opportunity away from americans Okay. Every job that an illegal immigrant takes, whether here in this country, is a job that an American could have taken, albeit at a higher wage. Do you think unemployment and, is a problem in this country? Uh, to a degree, yeah. I what, do. what do you mean by to a degree? What is the rate of unemployment right now? Mm, what is it, like 3.9 or... Okay, how much lower can it go, you think? Well, the... The employment, the unemployment rate also only measures people who are actively seeking work. So there's a very, there's a sizable portion of the population that has been out of the circulation of seeking a job long enough to not be counted on the unemployment rate. Uh -huh. okay, so okay. it's actually worse than it is. And not, not only that, it's not just that people aren't, don't have jobs, it's that their jobs aren't paying them what they should. Ooh, okay, you bring up a really good point. Wage stagnation, which is the actual problem. Unemployment is not a problem in this country, and it won't be. Unemployment, it is, unemployment, unemployment is not a problem. Underemployment be. is a problem. And beyond that, more importantly than underemployment, wage stagnation is a gigantic problem. Redistribution of wealth is a gigantic problem in this country. Oh, wait, so wage stagnation would improve or disprove or get worse? Or if we didn't have no, if we no longer had undocumented citizens, absolutely. If we no longer absolutely had undocumented not. citizens, absolutely. Do you know how you do that? Do you know how the only way That's, to I ensure that doesn't that happen anymore? 100%. I think you know the answer. I, I disagree. What I do have, you mean? You, you disagree with wait. what? You didn't even hear my answer. I, ha I do not agree that legalizing tens of millions of illegal immigrants overnight will generate positive economic opportunities for Americans. Why not? It Don't, will certainly but, generate but you, but, but, positive but, but, economic opportunities for But you understand that. But you understand immigrant. that. Hold on. But you understand that uh, that currently, um, the the way uh, the way immigration law is centered around uh, uh, instilling punitive measures on the people who are literally the immigrants themselves, and also the the American citizens that help the undocumented immigrants, and not necessarily the business owners that hire them. Uh, if you had looked into the complicated and and awfully violent history of uh, immigration law and how it pertains to um, you know, uh, protecting the interests of capital, you would understand that the only reason why undocumented immigration in this country exists is so that you could have a consistent pool of, of scabs, basically. Uh, a consistent, po school, uh, consistent pool of scabs that you can threaten the rest of the legal working population. The conquistador Hello. of red literally just asked me, Hassan, why did Cesar Chavez beat up Mexicans trying to cross the border? And I, while I was giving the answer to that question. I cut out something around conquistadors. No, not, I was just reading something in the chat. Um, the, the answer I gave you is that the reason why, um, the reason why in the United States historically we only punish the immigrants that come here, even though we literally ask them to come here as migrant workers when we need them during the time of World War I and World War II, and, and other instances in order to, to, uh, uh, to generate, uh, like in order to fa uh, foster agricultural production, um, we've relied heavily on Mexican migrant workers, okay? Um, and the reason why uh, we've, uh, we've rolled back um, the, the uh, legal boundaries that we afforded to uh, migrant workers is because having undocumented, uh, having undocumented immigrants uh, exist in the same labor pool creates um, a, a pretty large, sizable chunk of scabs that you can always uh, utilize. Do you understand mm. that? I'm, I was reading something, but uh, do you do you agree that um, a, a growing 
low-wage labor force will negatively impact. Um, what do you mean growing a low-wage labor force? You made these same exact arguments when you and I had this conversation, and, and you didn't even answer what I was. Uh, I you did. didn't even uh, provide I, any sort of like I, counterclaim to what I was This is literally the first time I've ever. This is the first time I've ever talked to you for the hundredth time. Yeah, that's secondly. Yeah, I'm, this is the I'm point of the conversation where we had a lump of labor fallacy uh, argument with whoever it was uh, that that made these exact same arguments. It's not a fallacy. It's a well-documented occurrence when you increase you describe a low-wage labor Describe to me where it, this was documented. Yeah, in the Center for Immigration Studies, is published by Stephen Camarota. Okay. He says, "Do you want me to quote from it?" Yeah, please. <laughs> um. Immigrants are 60% more likely to be employed in low-skilled low op occupations than native-born workers. Therefore, like native-born minorities, a larger percentage of immigrant workers are negatively affected by competition with their fellow immigrants. But because native-born blacks and Hispanics... Wait, no, I, I read it out of order. Native-born blacks and Hispanics are 67% and 37% respectively more likely to be employed in low-skilled occupation than are native-born whites. Therefore, a much higher percentage of minorities are negatively affected by illegal immigration because native-born blacks and Hispanics in the negatively affected occupations earn on average 15 or 14 percent less than whites. The wage loss resulting from immigration, mass immigration, is likely to represent What do you think happens after the second generation? Because the, the argument that you're making groups. pertains to the first generation immigrants. What do you, that's, and also, that's not what the stat that you mentioned said, but uh, what do you think that happens, at, what do you think happens that to the immigrants the after the what? first generation? Uh, I would I would say that they do they still continue to work in the low uh, do you still do you think that they after the first generation um, continue working uh, as as low wage labor also I uh, thought statistics no, were you know I, I love that you were go, like uh, all through, the studies that you showed me are biased and then and then you proceeded to show me one of the openly like one of the most biased studies that you could of fucking course. bring up but it's fine I'm I'm gonna work off of the uh, the the uh, numbers that you of gave course. Okay. Right. So I so you criticize me for not having numbers. I give you numbers and then you. No 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 no. I said I'm gonna work so off of that. The difference argument. between you and I is that you're I can still logically. No, the difference between you and I is that even though you have uh, numbers, I can logically work off of that and and explain to you why uh, the the information that you're delivering is incomplete or doesn't actually capture the whole picture. One. It doesn't matter if there's a larger percentage of low-wage workers that are coming into the country because when there's more people, there are more jobs, there is more need, uh, and, and this is Wait, why, why the lump of, this need? is where we go back to the lump of labor fallacy, the misconception that there is a fixed amount of work. Um, so uh, that, that's not a real thing and that has never existed. Um, but even beyond that, uh, that, that argument just, is only relevant to first-generation immigration because, you know, um, uh, by the second and third generation, uh, immigration is uh, immigrants are consistent with the natural born U.S. population. In regards after to like going, after mobility. going through, after going through what? Our educational system, right? So they're not no American after citizens after they, you, they, you understand. Put, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm going to tell you what you said. What and then you followed. Education. No, you said what. And then you yeah, I was, it was, and then it was you followed. I'm going to tell you what it is. It was a rhetorical question. Wait, but you're wrong. It I'm going to tell you exactly why. I'm not because wrong. you said our education system. Our education system is dog shit, dog. We're number fucking 37. Like, what are you talking Better about? Better than Mexico. Better than fucking Mexico. That's for goddamn sure. But we're not. But you, we were just talking about immigration. Now you're only talking about Mexican immigration. No, you were talking about Mexican immigrants. No, I was you talking said, about Mexican. Ta I was talking about migrant this, labor. You, I was talking about migrant no, labor originally. No, 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 no. You frame this conversation in us generating positive Wait, so benefits. Wait, the study for, that you uh, mentioned. No, 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 hold on, hold on. The study no, that no, you mentioned me specifically no, was talking about Mexican group. immigration. It was talking about illegal immigrants in general, but you framed okay, it in wait, the wait, context wait, wait, wait. of the conversation that oh, you I'm framed sorry. as us. I'm sorry that I took your fucking study here, that, inca that here. captures the entirety of, of immigration and assumed that it wasn't just Mexicans we were talking about. I should have assumed that you're being a fucking racist piece of shit and only talking about Mexicans. 
That's, Sorry. That, that's Let's ridiculous. go back to that. that my bad. You, you were that, talking about Mexican immigrants. Coming, my bad. Coming from the guy who literally said, we need to allow more Ill immigrants here because we need to generate positive economic outcomes in Mexico. Obviously, you're talking about fucking yes, Mexican Yes, when I was citizens. talking about, when I was so talking, yeah, because that was an argument around the border wall. The study that you're giving me is talking about immigration. You formulated, you formulated the discussion. I uh, was operating within your parameters, talking about Mexicans immigrating here. Do you not listen to anything I say and just hear everything American off of? American citizens. Okay, I'm going to mute you, you for you, a second. All right, I'm going to mute you for a second just to, just to like shut you the fuck up for one brief moment so you understand where I'm coming from, okay? I said... Open borders are good because it helps the host country and the country of origin. And then I followed it up with an example from Mexico. The concept works worldwide, as is uh, because I'm talking about open borders. Okay? Now, beyond that, okay? Oh, fuck. Where is he? Did he leave? What happened? Where'd you go? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's not a conversation if you're going to debate me. No, I mean, because you you're me. fucking it's screaming. It's not a debate if you're going to. Uh, okay. You, I was screaming because you were screaming, right? Yeah, I because elevated. you're misrepresenting my perspective and not giving me an opportunity on my own show you to fucking represent. You just called me a fucking racist with no foundation. I That's called you a racist because you kept, you kept, you, of course, you, you played fast and loose. To, do we need to clip it where you fucking started? Yeah, you played this fast and loose with uh, immigration statistics, and then men, and you were just talking about Mexicans. Based on fucking positive economic outcomes of for Mexico, I mean. Because I was talking about the host nation. No, dude. originally I started the conversation by talking conversation. about the host nation, and the uh, and the nation of origin, and then I used an example from Mexican immigration, but you to, were to, using a study. That in was, all oh immigration. Do so I then I turned the, the conversation to all do immigration. I to connect, do I need to connect the dots for you? I mean, I, I was making a point in response to your idea that we should just allow as many Mexican citizens to come here as we as they want, because it will generate positive economic opportunity for them. Why do you hate Mexicans there. so much? I said I said that would cause Americans to lose. Their Is there job. a specific reason then, why you I hate Mexicans found, so much? I then found a study talking about low-wage workers immigrating here, displacing American yeah. workers. Yeah, and I was that was yeah. That well, you didn't specify that they were Mexicans, though. I don't know why that study was talking about Mexicans. When you say so low-wage workers. So you're saying when it talks about low wage immigrants that Mexicans are not a part of that group thereby I can't use it within that conversation. No, 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 they're this. absolutely a part of that group. But when I was talking about all immigrants, you then turned the conversation back to no, no Mexico's immigrant Mexican like immigrant. you talked about Mexican immigrants. Bro, you're, you're okay, but you're the one who's changing. I know, but you're the one who's changing the the, the 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 study. Okay. Let me describe Mexican this to you in I'll terms that you can understand, that. okay? I agree. Do you want me to describe this to you in terms that even you can understand? Okay. No, no, no. See, if if we are talking I about if we're talking about black crime, it's, it's right? Semantics. If we're talking about black semantics. crime, I, and then dude, you or or <sighs> let's say not black crime. If we're talking about if we're talking about crime in the United States, okay? And then you come in and you say, "Well, I have a study right here that says the 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 um the rate of crime has decreased." And you're not actually talking about the United States. You're talking about the rate of crime uh, that has decreased worldwide. You've changed the conversation to the rate of crime that has decreased worldwide and not necessarily just the United States. So I'm going to address so, the study. When I'm addressing the study, I'm going to talk mm. about why it would be okay. across the board. So, the rate of crime has decreased across the board. You understand so that, what right? You're, say you're, you're saying my study, because it didn't specifically say Mexican immigrants, well, irrelevant. you can't use a study that, that looks at all immigration and then have and, and expect me to assume that you're only talking about Mexicans. I'm not talking only about Mexicans, but I you framed it within that context, so I responded with a study. There's no study. I I, I mean. If there's a study out there that only talks about Mexican immigrants, which how the fuck would you quantify that if they're illegal, undocumented immigrants, then I'd be glad to, re to regurgitate that one to you. But that doesn't exist. So we're going to obviously use a study that talks about all immigrants. And uh, you're in the context of your now I understand why you don't like to now I understand why you don't like to bring up studies because you have one and and your analysis you're like your analysis is just my, fucking no, garbage my application of, no my application of the study was flawless if you can't comprehend it I'm sorry I, I don't know what to do okay for all right 
Um, let's keep going. So uh, we were talking about we were talking about all immigration, and then I talked about um, and I was referencing like the fact that uh, first generation immigrants that come in here are not actually exclusively uh, 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 getting low wage jobs and how that's not a bad thing because of the lump labor fallacy. But then even beyond that, after the first generation, they start taking on other jobs and not just low wage, um, uh, not just low wage jobs. Okay. So that's two different points that you're wrong on. And then beyond that, no, you're wrong. How am I wrong? Because your lump of labor fallacy is not a fallacy. It's a fact and it's bared out in evidence. You should look it up. I, I, uh, suggest you go study that issue more. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. There Econ are actual economists, idiots who are saying economists agree. Economists agree. Economists agree with what? Uh, Your perspective? Yeah, definitely. Do I need to name some of them for you? I mean, that would be really helpful, but I, I don't, I don't know what you're going to say now. All right, do you have Google ready? Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready, <laughs> dude. Give me a, give me a fucking study. We're going to take a look at some economists that agree with you. <laughs> no, I want to see an economist that agrees with you. Um, You're the one making the argument. You're making the argument that uh, like open borders is positive. So where's that? The lumber labor fallacy comes from, um, what's the fucking David Frederick Schloss, but, um, w who is an economist, but, um, even yeah, beyond you know that, even that, beyond that, that virtually you know all, that virtually is? all economists agree, especially the 21st century, virtually all economists agree that, okay, that, uh, okay. that's, that's not an argument. Virtually all agree. Like what the fuck? I could say the same thing about, uh, okay. About okay. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you actual fucking names, dude. I mean, yeah, you wanted me to do the same thing. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to hear a study from you. Like I wanted to hear one fucking study. I already quoted a study to you. No, the study that and you quoted you... me does not disprove the lump of labor pa uh, uh, fallacy. What are you talking no, it about? Dis it disproves the fact that there's no negative a uh, outcomes for mass illegal immigration. That's not a negative outcome. The fact that they take low wage jobs uh, doesn't. There is not. If, okay. Displacement. Okay. Of, Holy of fuck. American Holy fuck. Is a I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking outcome. kill myself. It I'm gonna literally outcome. kill myself. If you don't shut the fuck up and understand what labor lump of labor fallacy. What you're saying is not disproving lump of labor fallacy. What you're saying no, is just simply. Immigrants are coming in and taking uh, immigrants are coming in and taking on low wage jobs in the first generation. OK, in the first generation. But that doesn't mean that there is only a, a, a finite amount of low wage jobs. When more people come into the country, there is more need. There is more consumption. Therefore, more jobs. Are you done? I, I, are, did you understand or? No, it's a it's a simple point. I I understand it, but you're not basing that off of like any like real studies of that happening on a mass scale uh, in America. Like you're just I love that you you have one fucking study and now about, uh, and, about, and now you think about that, your political beliefs. Like you're saying generally like no, immigration I'm not, but generally I'm not talking, produces. I'm giving additional context for you to analyze the information that you just gave me. Yeah, you anal your the analysis is this. You're saying generally immigration. Okay, has repeat what I said. Effects. If you heard what therefore, I said, repeat what I said. Therefore. If There's you heard what I said, repeat what I said. Car, mass immigration. Like okay, we should just if open you heard what I said and you need... understood, repeat what I said. You say that, oh my God, dude. That there's a fixed number of jobs, and that if a, um, a bunch of illegal immigrants come in here, that, that 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 will generate more jobs, and that they'll expand the economy because there'll be additional consumption. So we won't have a late a, a problem with a fixed number of jobs. I understand it. It's not complicated. No, like, I said the there's no. Like? I said the opposite. I just said there is not a fixed number of jobs. Yes, I. That's what I just said. What the fuck? I know you started off with there's a fixed number of jobs. I said that's if why there I'm is a fixed number of jobs, that there won't be a problem with all these new people who come in because they'll expand the economy, and so it won't matter. That's what I'm. That's what you, you said, dude. That was the point you made. There's not a fixed number. Of, I mean, there is a fixed number of jobs. I, there is not a fixed number of jobs. Okay, I'm glad that I'm glad that you understand that. Okay, so that. I mean, it's it's so very fucking simple. So that doesn't actually. That only. Uh, that provides additional context to the perspective that you gave me. Okay. 
Yeah, I understand that. But okay. that doesn't disprove it, what I said. Yes, it does. It's, it's, because the no, fucking point that you're view. making because the point that you're making was the point that you're proven? making only stands if there is a That's fixed number of jobs. But there isn't a fixed number of jobs. That's the whole point. Right. Generally, right. But where have you seen this take place in the tens of millions? Do you have any evidence to tell me that this is not going to be a problem when literally tens and tens of millions of people immigrate here? That's how are they? When, it, when, it, when is that happening? If we if we open if we have open borders and we legalize anybody who wants to come here, I mean there are a lot of shitty countries and people who would be glad to immigrate to America. Oh, here we go. The, giving the booming economy and economic opportunity that would exist when they get here. Well, I guess the economic opportunity through, through would be fucking ruined. So you know, easy clap. No more immigration after that, right? Given your um, not, I never settlement. argued against immigration. Like I never made that argument. Wait, what? I, I just don't think we should have open borders. Okay. I'm totally in favor of immigration. Okay. I, I'm well You're just aware not in that favor my grand, of, my yeah, yeah, no, I know. You're just immigrants. not in favor of, of, okay. That's why I said, what if we were to open up? You think that's unreasonable? You think it's unreasonable to, to be able to put a, a, a cap on when and how many immigrants come in here? You, you think that's unreasonable for a country to be able to do that? Is yeah, that what you're saying? I do. Oh That's my ridiculous. God, to Subachi and everyone who keeps bringing up that same fucking dumbass study, it's been disproven, okay? You guys are showcasing how dumb you are. That's the only fucking notable study, and, and it, 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 the notable study from a time when uh, a, an influx of Cuban immigrants came into Miami, and that was the only time where there was documented evidence that an influx of immigrants at that level actually had a negative impact in the short term, and then longitudinal studies showed that there, there, there were only positive impacts in the long term, okay? You dumb fucks. Are you talking about the Mariel Boatliff in like yeah. the 80s? <laughs> there was a crime no, wave. No, the dude. Borgias or, or whatever the fuck. Isn't that the one? Yeah, I've seen Scarface, exactly. What, that's right. That's not that unit. The, the Scarface? Are you, but that, that is Yeah, like, if we have open borders, there's just going to be a bunch of Scarfaces and the illicit drug trade will boom. Okay. I don't want a bunch of fucking Colombian drug lords running around here. <laughs> Look at these people in chat think I'm making a serious argument. <laughs> Are y'all that stupid? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, he was just trolling. Holy shit. Yeah, it was a fucking joke. He also Holy said Colombian. shit. Jesus. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Colombia. I know he's Cuban, but I'm saying oh. most of the drug trade comes out. Yeah, I, well, Coke now I, now your Colombia. your perspective on immigration is making a little bit more sense. Coke comes out of Colombia. That's a fact, dude. That's I why know. I just, he, he said Colombia in regards to Cuban immigration and then said Colombia, Cuba, whatever. <laughs> okay, but a bunch of Colombian cowboys came here. What is the, what is the here, what's the main know, thing that uh, that is that makes Colombia and Cuba so similar to one another? I, I don't know. I don't think they so are much so that you find it to be interchangeable. Uh, at least in the way that they manifested in in Florida in the 1980s, the dr uh, being involved in the drug trade in large numbers. Oh, okay. But we were talking about a specific yeah. study and a specific movie that was uh, about Cubans. Wait. So where did where did Scarface get his cocaine from? But we're talking about the people. Do you think the cocaine coming just, in from Cuba what, is the same as the, the people that were coming into Miami? Yes, like the Colombians came with the cocaine. They didn't just like fucking ship oh it from their shore God. and say, see you later. <laughs> okay, Dude, it's fine. Pablo Escobar sent Colombians to execute people all the time. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my God. It's dude, fine, I watched... dude. It's fine. We were talking about Cuba. Are we not on the same page here? It's okay. I don't understand. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're now like literally fucking... We're now literally arguing on the merits of a, a of a dumb trolley joke that you made because I, I wanted I'm to. Not, I'm not actually arguing. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's why let's just let's dude, move I, away it, because you I watch got, Narcos roll, and. No, I I have watched Narcos. It's a great show. Yeah, but uh, it's a good show. I got I got to roll. I got to roll. Oh, you got to go. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I the Borgia study has been repeatedly debunked. I am the giant. That's what I was referencing. That's why it's like fucking frustrating to me that there are people in my audience. One of which, one of the people who was like literally a, a subscriber who's bringing up a debunked study uh, that is like super famous for being debunked. All right, anyway. man. All right, have Thank a good night, day. man. Yeah, you too.